Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with a mini episode of our mini series here on Campaign of France. We're gonna be uh, taking care of the sheep today a little bit. We've got to get them up and running here. We've gotten one load of sheep and we're gonna go ahead and grab this trailer and go pick up another load of sheep here because we uh, we want to really get them going and I think that the sheep are gonna take a bit to uh, reproduce here and get the amount that we need for our achievement. And also this is a leased trailer and so I want to make sure that we're getting our use out of it before we have to pay for additional leasing costs. So we're gonna go and probably get, I don't know, two more loads of sheep today. Uh, just to kind of fill out this pen a little bit. I believe our animal pen holds a total of 80 sheep right now. So we've got 10 in there right now. I figure if we can get to 30 or 40 sheep and then leave the rest of that room for them to reproduce so that we can get our achievement for breeding sheep that will be in a good spot. So maybe we'll try to fill half that pen. We'll get to 40 animals if we can. So we're going to uh, not make the same mistakes that we made last time, which is driving down the one-way road. We're going to come down this wider road here to get up to the animal dealer and uh, not spend so much time in traffic. So we're coming right in here to the animal dealer. Oh, there's not really a great way to back in at the moment. I think we're actually going to just pull straight in and then we can back out of here again. We're going to go ahead and fill this trailer up. Somebody mentioned getting one white sheep just to have something for the uh, black sheep to complain about in the pen. However, I, uh, I'm not sure outside of seasons how the breeding works on the animals if they have to be of the same type. So we're going to get all the same type just to not risk uh, messing things up on ourselves here. But uh, we've got a full load here. You can tell it's pulling a little bit hard going up the hill here. Our little electric tractor is definitely getting a workout on this series. So we're going to run this load back up to the farm and uh, I think make two more loads here. We've got the money for it, definitely. We're coming right back into the farmyard here. It's a little tight in some of these spots here. Make sure we don't crash into our barrel here. Honestly, the yard is just the right size for the equipment and the style of gameplay that we're going for. I'm just used to much bigger spaces, that's for sure. So we'll just have to slow ourselves down a little bit here as we're working our way through the yard. Oh, we didn't quite get enough angle on this uh, pulling up next to the opening here. There we go. And unload. All right, we're going to go and do two more loads here real quick, and uh, we'll check back in. So as we've been driving back and forth here, getting this uh, third load of sheep, I've been looking at the map a little bit and realizing we don't own this grass field right next to us here. And that might be a perfect addition to the farm here, given that we need some grass to feed the sheep. And in the back behind our chicken coop area here, we are going to be plowing that to turn it into a field here soon. However, that means that it's going to take a while until we're going to have any grass to feed these sheep. And I'd really like to get them going because uh, it's going to take a while to breed as many sheep as we need here. And so I think we're going to actually stop at three loads of sheep here. And that's going to give me just enough money to pick up one more field. And I think the other reason for that is also just we're going to need a fair amount of uh, wheat or barley to keep these chickens going. Uh, we used quite a bit to get this full and... They're already breeding here. We're going to have another animal in uh, less than six hours of game time. But we're going to be eating through this feed pretty quick. And uh, while it's been a while since I've played base game, I think that that's going to go pretty quick here. So we're going to 
change gears a little bit here and focus, I think, on getting the sheep going as well and seeing how that's going to work out for us. So we're going to start here at 30 sheep and see where things go. So first things first, we're going to disconnect this animal trailer here and return this lease. Uh, it was worth it for us to lease this because it uh, would have cost us about the same amount of money to buy and have 10 sheep delivered as we paid for getting all 30 sheep delivered here. So this was a good investment. So with that trailer returned, let's jump into the map here and go ahead and buy field 47 here for $53,000. That'll leave us just a little bit of money to deal with uh, whatever we may need to buy as supplies. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing hooked up and go get a load of grass for the sheep right out of the gate here. Now, there's a couple of different uh, ways that we could go about this. I could just go out there and mow it all up and then come back in and uh, rake it and pick it up with the loading wagon. Or we could try and pick it all up with the loading wagon all in one go here. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work for a couple of reasons. The first is, this is a tiny little tractor. I don't think it's got the horsepower to run both pieces of equipment at the same time. And uh, I think it'd be kind of hard to get around with the wagon and the mower at the same time here. Um, this thing is, uh, or this field is pretty small. And there's not a lot of room to move around here. So we are going to pick up our rear weight though because the front of this mower, or having the mower on the front of this tractor, is uh, a little bit uh, tipsy. It was uh, causing me some problems with uh, getting moved about here, so I think it's going to work out better if I can put the weight on here to give me some extra stability. And based on where this dirt is, I'm going to guess this is one of these uh, barbed wire gates. Yep, there we go. We'll just fold that back here so we can get in and mow some grass. Get this mower all turned on and we should be good to go. This guy is uh, going to make short work of this field. This is going to work out really well for us. Um, I'm not going to be too careful with our patterns or anything here because we do have a uh, wind rower, a rake to get all of this into a little bit easier to pick up pattern here. I'm also not going to be uh, too picky about getting every last ounce of grass off of this. For today, I really just want to get these sheep started. We're losing out on uh, productivity time here of having them eating and breeding. One of the other nice things about working with uh, much, much smaller equipment is that it's a little bit easier to go in cab and be able to see all of your implement here while you're driving around. So we're able to do that a little bit more here in this series as well. All right, we've got all of the grass cut here. We had to plan to time lapse out that bit, but it turns out that uh, I forgot to start the recording. So we'll just uh, jump right into wind rowing here. We're gonna uh, put the grass straight in. We're not gonna ted and make hay here uh, because the sheep don't really care. We're not really using seasons in this uh, playthrough. So uh, we don't have to worry about some of those mechanics. Uh, I am going to drop this weight off here, though, because we definitely don't need that weighing us down. We're going to be pulling the wind rower here, and if we do need to use the mower again, we're going to need to use the weight, so I'm not too worried about uh, leaving that hooked up here. Now, we're going to also need to windrow the straw droppings that we left here. Somebody suggested that, and uh, I've been playing with Seasons for so long, I forget that you can sell loose straw in base game. I'm so used to having to bail everything up to sell it that uh, this was a pleasant uh, surprise, so I appreciate the reminder there. 
So we are going to start right here with that since we're up in the yard and then we'll get moved over and do the grass here. Now I'm going to be kind of curious to see how much money we actually get from uh, raking this up. We'll uh, determine if we waste the time to do this in the future or not, but uh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It's a little bit of extra money and uh, the fields are small enough in this game that it's not going to take us long, even with this smaller equipment here. It looks like depending on how straight I drove the combine, or the rake I guess in this case, I can actually pick up three passes with the rake here, which is cool. We're uh, doing kind of an odd pattern here just because of the trees and not wanting to run into anything, but we're making it work. Uh, we're going to be able to pick this up pretty quick when it comes time to actually run the loading wagon, so... I'm not too worried about exactly how we uh, pull this off. In fact, we may take another pass down here to pick up this little bit that I left uh, and merge it with the outside row just to bring this outside row away from the trees a little bit more. Something like that ought to work pretty well. And I think we've got probably one more good pass here in the middle. We're going to steal a little bit of what we already did and drag it here into this middle pass. And then I'm going to swing around here and make one more headland pass, I think. Uh, I'm going to sneak through these bushes here and kind of try to circle around here. I can't believe we've got cotton over here. That seems a mite uh, ridiculous for this map. I don't think the cotton harvester would even fit there in that field. But uh, that's farm sim for you. All right, so I'm going to actually fold this thing up to be able to get it over to our grass field because I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak through these gates with the wings down. Maybe, but we're going to... We're not going to take any chances here. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can pull this off here. Now the mower, whoops, we're sliding down this hill just a smidge. The mower appears to probably be a little bit wider swath than our combine, so I'd rather not miss any and leave it on the outside edge here, so... We're not going to worry about trying to squeeze three swaths in. In fact, I'm pretty sure two is going to be our limit here. So I'm just going to run down the middle of our two tracks. Should work out just fine here. I will admit when I was mowing, I was kind of hoping that I could get all three of them into the windrower here. That's why we took three headland passes off. I would have probably taken four headland passes if I'd uh, been thinking about it. But this is our first time using some of this equipment, so little things like this we're bound to figure out as we go. All right, so we have got all of the grass raked up here into... Uh, some windrows. We're going to be all ready to go get our loading wagon here and hopefully get these uh, sheep eating some food here. So I'm going to fold these up here. Looks like we got to take the, some of the tines off here when we load it up apparently. Now the nice thing about the wheels on the back of this thing having their own pivot is that the trailer doesn't cut quite so close in when we turn. So oh, that was uh, a little bit handy. We are having a little bit of trouble turning sometimes with these implements on the back. The weight is causing the front tires, you can see, to come off the ground ever so slightly. So we're not able to turn so great. So maybe I'll put that weight on the front of this thing after all. I was uh, hoping to get by without the extra weight because I noticed that the tractor starts to slow down the heavier we get but a lot of these implements are pretty heavy and we don't have 
that much weight in this electric. It's just such a small vehicle, to be honest, that uh, we'll, uh, we'll break down and put the weight on the front. This uh, loading wagon is adorable. It's so tiny. Now, I doubt this is going to have the spinning wheels on the back, so we'll have to be a little bit careful here as we're turning into places. But let's uh, see if we can get all of this grass scooped up here. Whoa, this thing turns a little tighter than I'm used to. We might have to come back and clean up a couple of bits once we get going here, but we could actually uh, go in cab here, I guess, and try and tackle all of this. We're 30% full already. We're turning a little bit better now that we've got the weight on the front, so hop out here and take a look at how that's going. Our wheels are much doing a much better job of staying on the ground. I feel like if we had... Uh, not put the weight on as this trailer got full we'd be having some stability issues here so i think that was the right call we're at 62 percent capacity here so we're gonna get more than one load off of the field here which is actually encouraging we've got quite a bit of uh sheep to feed here though and so i'm curious to see how much of the feed capacity one full trailer is going to do for us here. Um, I'm starting to wonder if we're actually going to get all of this field into the trailer. We're at 78%, almost 80% here on this run. Means we could probably get uh, two runs. We'll, we'll have a little bit left on the field. That's my, that's my guess. Get lined up here on the row though. Will be helpful. Looks like we're pulling in about 10% on a run. So we'll definitely have a couple of strips left here once we get back down to the other end of the field, which is okay. There we go, 100%. Now the moment of truth. Let's uh, see if we're going to be able to dump this into our sheep trigger. That looks like an awfully lot of sheep for uh, such a small pen. Realistically, I don't think that uh, we'd be able to handle 80 sheep in uh, this small of a yard. Like, maybe 10. 10 to 20. So the fact that we've got 30 in here already is uh, a lot of sheep for this small of an area. However... We're gonna just uh, kind of roll with it here. We're getting quite a bit of this grass in here. I'm, I was hoping we'd get it all in here. Uh, partly because then we can use our loading wagon to go sell this straw. But we didn't quite get it all in there. So we've still got 6% in the wagon, which is a little bit unfortunate uh, because it means I can't go and pick up our straw. So let's finish picking up this grass real quick since we're all hooked up and we still had grass in the trailer. We'll figure out what we're going to do with this grass to get it out of the trailer here at some point momentarily. And then uh, we need to get some water for the sheep as well to really get them going. Because I don't think they're going to uh, be very happy until they've got water as well. And uh, the goal for today's episode is to get those sheep eating and drinking so that we can start uh, getting a handle on what our reproduce timer is going to be. I'm trying to estimate in my head how long it's going to take to knock out these achievements. And so I'm hoping that my sheep are going to reproduce a bit faster than the chickens, which is really weird because chickens reproduce pretty fast. Uh, but we've got a lot more of these sheep in the pen. So we'll see. We'll see. But we've got all that grass picked up. We're at 30%. So let's uh, get back up into the yard here. We'll drop this trailer. Uh, actually, let's uh, see if by some weird chance, and it would definitely be weird, not necessarily realistic, that we can hold grass in uh, 
our bins. Nope, no such luck. That's okay. I wouldn't have expected to be able to hold grass in the bins. So I'm going to park this trailer right over here on our stone. And we're going to get some water going here. Now, I think we parked this trailer here, but I don't think we got any water in it last time. So we'll uh, get it hooked up. Nah, it's empty. So let's take this up. I saw where I'm pretty sure the water trigger is right down here by the co-op where we could buy some stuff. I'm going to cut that guy off at the uh, crosswalk there. Trying not to run any pedestrians over there all over the place. But uh, I think we saw the water trigger up here by one of the cell points. So we're going to run up here to the corner and see if that is indeed the water trigger. So we're up here in the corner and it looks like this is the entrance. So we're going to pull in here. Um, I'm not dumping any grain, so I guess we'll go over the scale. And then back here in the corner is our water trigger, at least what I assume is the water trigger, because that is the big green water tank. So let's see if I back this up here. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, it was refilling water. I was expecting a little pop-up thing on the screen, but uh, we're not unloading grain, so you don't get a, a fill pop-up. There we go. We've got a full trailer of water, and it looks like that didn't cost us anything, which is nice. So we'll run this right back up to the farm and see how those sheep are looking. All right, let's see how much water these sheep are going to take. Now, I don't want to keep driving through the bushes. They're kind of there to remind me to stay out of the backyard of the house here, so... We're going to try and be a little bit more responsible here. And load up the water on these sheep. Looking good, looking good. Ooh, they're thirsty sheep. I'm glad I don't have to give water to the chickens as well. Wow, we used most of that trailer. So we've got 1,300 liters left. I'm going to just park that trailer there because we don't have any real use for it for anything else on the farm. And uh, let's uh, get out here and take a look at how these sheep are shaping up now. So we've advanced time a half hour or so to tick past the hour so that we could get the stats on our sheep. And oh boy, 32 hours here per sheep with 30 in the pen. That's not uh, necessarily an encouraging number. That means it's going to take more than one in-game day to produce another sheep here. So we're going to have to get a few more sheep in the pen here to speed that up. Maybe go up to about 60 sheep in the pen, and then as they produce, we can sell a few off or something. So definitely something to think about. We need about 15,000 liters of grass to keep this full. I'll be curious to see how fast this goes down. If I remember right in Farm Sim, the container holds enough for two full days of animals. And so we're going to have to kind of keep working on this. But we've got them started, which is the important part. Our chickens are uh, working on it as well here. We're not using too much of our feed in either of these situations. And so we've got everything kicked off here on the farm. Next episode, we'll be uh, putting this field in back here behind the chicken coop, I think, and figuring out what we're going to do to store grass and straw and stuff on the farm here. And, you know, getting some crops going again here. We're going to need a lot of grass. So we'll probably put this other field in as grass. We'll probably put some more wheat or barley or something over here. I got to look and see which of the two of those is higher yield. Get that going in this back section here. And then we've got 100 contracts that we need to go do. So we'll have to jump into some of these contracts here as well. However, that's all for today. Kederk. We'll just uh, fold that back here. 
so we can get in and whoops and we're not using seasons in this either so oops my goodness oh we bumped that trailer that is a tight turn let's uh back up here i should have uh swung a little bit closer to the fence here to make that turn oh i'm catching i forgot these back wheels on this thing actually pivot which uh causes it to swing wider than i expect Ooh, that sheep is uh levitating that was really cool and then uh we got to get these sheep some water oh we took out the flowers <laughs> 